Okay, connections. We still ha uh, are like talking about residuals uh, or any uh, more connections. In ResNet, uh, they okay uh, connected some preceding layers to the uh, the, the next layers, uh, but in an order like uh, every like two layers uh, added to another the next uh, layer. But in uh, DanceNet, they just propose okay, let's connect every layer to each other. Because uh, yeah, uh, it's it's very useful to use uh, many features, many early features, uh, feature maps, uh, and then uh, add them to uh, the next coming layers uh, to have like more rich information. And then they yeah they tried this uh, like this uh, dense blocks actually the main uh, proposal here. Let me show, and these are uh, intermediate operations, uh, like called transition layers. Uh, they basically apply the one by one here and pulling layer uh, to reduce the size. Uh, and this is the dense block, uh, adding every uh, like layer one another and one another in this way, very densely connected. And these are dense block and can add any block. Uh, so let's talk a little and why they are really useful. So this is the standard connectivity. Uh, when you design a network, you can design like in this way, uh, very deep net, uh, successive convolutions you can apply, but we will have, we will probably, uh, uh, we'll have not much uh, gradients at the end of the operation. And in ResNet, okay, they skipping uh, and introducing uh, identity paths, and then element-wise, element-wise addition, they're applying. Uh, this is uh, important, I think. And the, in DanceNet, uh, they just add every layer to one another. But, sorry, not adding, Concatenating. So there is a really uh, nice difference between the element wise summation and concatenation. Uh, let me give a like, very uh, intuitive example. Uh, if I ask you for, for, for example, for money, like for contributing for something, and if you give me all the money, like $100, $50, $21, and if I take these all dollars and then if I just sum them, for example, I will get like uh, $1,000 in summation operation. But I will lose the information of the, the person, how much contributed. For example, I will lose the, the, the Dimitri is giving by 100. I may like <laughs> be in my great time, he's giving like 20 something. Uh, <laughs> actually, he gave it 100. So uh, in concatenation, uh, we are for adding, concatenating every, every contribution, right? So I can remember how, uh, uh, who just gave how much money. So I'm still uh, conserving uh, the information, not losing. In summation, in somehow losing some information. Uh, this is, I think, is very important uh, point here. Okay, this is standard connectivity. Sorry for these uh, formulations, just appeared here. Uh, in standard connectivity, input, output, we have layers, and this is just basically uh, output is equal to this uh, function, this neural network, which uh, the parameter is uh, input uh, features. Uh, in ResNet connectivity, as you see here, uh, again, the same like architecture, but uh, introducing an identity path uh, which is this uh, x is coming directly to the uh, the output, and then there is an addition, which is here. Output equals the the input uh, through the function uh, through the neural network, and then output I mean input itself uh, are added here. Uh, in DanceNet, uh, yeah, since all are uh, transferred one another. Uh, we can we design the network, a uh, whole network, 
and then this network has parameters of x and x minus one, I mean, each intermediate layers. Yeah, so power of uh, feature reusing. Uh, this is really helpful. Uh, this is input uh, features and concatenating here, applying nonlinearity, concatenating, nonlinearity, concatenating, nonlinearity, and concatenating. In this way, we are, as you see here, x0 is coming again here, and these x1, x0 are coming here again. So reusing features, not losing any information. Uh, so yeah, why this is uh, important? Uh, in case of REST nets, uh, comparing with VGG or other uh, networks, uh, actually, yeah, they introduce reusing uh, the information, but it's not uh, enough. It was not enough. They still, uh, I mean, when applying ResNet blocks, we still have some correlated uh, features at the end. But using ResNet is more diversified because we are reusing almost every layer's uh, output, right? So comparing with uh, ResNet, it is more diversified, diversified uh, features we will have at the end. And one more thing is maintaining low complexity because at the, the beginning, early layers, uh, since we had uh, like some low features, low level features like edges, and when we concatenate in these edges to the, the very last layers, so we still like uh, preserving this information, right? This uh, low level information at the end of the, pro the process. Uh, and yeah, more shortcut connections, better gradient flow. This is all about gradient flow. Uh, as you see here, uh, very like very much like uh, paths, and then uh, more easy gradient flow we have comparing with rest nets, especially. Uh, this is kind of like supervision to gradients. We are like supervising gradients. Uh, to easily uh, reach to uh, the to the last uh, layers, and less parameters, uh, computationally efficient. Uh, in case of ResNet, uh, at the end of the uh, operations, uh, all number of parameters is proportional to this c times c. C is these features, number of features. Uh, but in LensNet, uh, it's uh, proportional to L times K times K. L is the num index number of layer uh, in dense block. And K is, yeah, this uh, number of features. Uh, K is very smaller than C. And, and why this is... Uh, um, why why do you really like computationally efficient why less parameters because it's using a bottle uh, bottleneck layer uh, this is a dense the operation in dense block uh, these are features are coming there is a one by one convolution applied here very uh, nice trick uh, because if you not use this uh, like any dimension reduction uh, operation you will have that much uh, features, which are like, because concatenating everything, and at the end, you will have like, like uh, very huge concatenation. So it is very like, uh, computationally very uh, intensive uh, process you will have. But uh, when applying one, one by one, we are just reducing this uh, uh, number of channels to K channels. This is Dimitri will uh, implement as well. Uh, he will just show uh, in a uh, function. This is uh, one part. I mean, he will just give a, a kernel uh, equals one and kernel equals three. And he will apply this part in a function. Uh, I think it's more easy to understand that. And yeah, this is the last graph is error versus uh, parameter and computation. Uh, comparing with ResNet, uh, let's say this ResNet 152 is uh, 
dense net uh, 161. These are like layers. Uh, when we compare, yeah, there are almost half of parameters we are, we are hearing, right? This is like six times as much number and three times as much number. Like almost half of parameters we are hearing. Almost same numbers of layers. And then this is the, uh, the computation. Uh, as you see here, the rest nets uh, and then these dense nets. Uh, again, the half of uh, computation work we are having here. Almost half. This is 1.5, this is like 2.25. Uh, 